In this video, I'm going to um, do a visual representation of how Newton's method works. Um, I am um, under the assumption that you are at least familiar with Newton's method. All right, uh, to begin with here, we will go over a brief definition here. Newton's method is a method for finding successfully better approximations to the roots or the zeros of some real world, real valued function that you might be working with. All right, this is usually done through an iteration formula. And with today's technology, you use your graphing calculator, you come up with your iteration formula, you put it in, and then you can real easily, with initial guess, come up with better and better approximations for your roots. All right, but um, I want to take a look at how this is actually being done visually. All right, so in this example, let's say that we've got a random function that looks like this, and I'm wanting better and better approximations for that zero. All right, I'm going to make an initial guess somewhere along my x-axis. All right, so let's say that maybe my first guess is right here. All right, that first guess needs to be kind of close to your zero, so it's not really, really, really far away, but it can be anywhere you want. Okay, now what um, Newton's method does, what that iteration formula does, is after you make that initial guess, all right, you can draw a vertical line up to your curve all right. At that point, along the curve then, you are going to draw a tangent line. And you're going to draw your tangent line in such a way that you make sure that it is long enough and crosses the x-axis. Right. And as soon as I do that then, I have my uh, another approximation for where that zero is, and as you can see, it is closer than my first one. My initial guess was pretty far away. All right, after one iteration of the formula, now I am closer to my zero. All right, if the re process is repeated, all right, so here is now my better approximation. I go to, draw a vertical line to the curve. All right, and then at that point along the curve, I draw a tangent. And again, I make sure that tangent line crosses the x-axis. All right, so there is my third approximation, and it is even closer and better to, the, to that zero. All right, and if this process is continued, you will ultimately get really, really, really close to that zero. So again, I could take that. I could go to my curve, vertical line to my curve. All right, and at that point along the curve, draw a tangent line. And again, that being my fourth approximation, and yet even better. And you can see, each time that it is repeated over and over and over, you are getting closer and closer to that root. All right, so just a visual representation of what that iteration formula does. When you're using your calculator and you're cranking out the approximations, sometimes you don't really understand what's going on. So this is just kind of to show you how it is going through the process of getting closer and closer to that zero. Um, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like, and be sure to share with your friends. Thanks.